should we go back down in here and, you know, move some of the more important stuff upstairs from our storage or stuff? Man, what in the world? Ah, I'm changing the name. Hold on. Open the storage. Grab it all. Grab it all. The quartz, the glass, the fire extinguisher. I don't know why I put that inside there. Dude, that's not going to do me very well. <laughs> Anyways, what do I do with the Aurora? Is that thing just like long gone? It seems like I have to send a distress signal or something like that, but I guess I already did that. Yeah, I can't really do anything else with that, and I guess I can't sleep here and play with my little iPad, whatever. But anyways, what is this thing? I guess that's a scuba tank or something like that. I don't know! Anyways, oh yeah, that was, uh, that was where the fire extinguisher was, yeah. I uh, can't put it. yeah, I can't put anything else aside there, that's unfortunate, but I guess... What, uh, shall we do with this? Silicone rubber. Yeah, let's grab some of these things, turn them into silicone, turn those into titanium, because I don't think they're gonna do us any good, you know, in their raw state like that, you know? So might as well get some silicone rubber. Glass. I guess I can get some glass. I don't even know what I need it for. I, I guess I could look at my little iPad and see, hey, I can craft this and that with uh, a bunch of glass and trash. Lubricants. Hey, you know what? Let's make some lubricant just because we have a little bit. Lubricant is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Sounds good. Titanium with the metal salvage. Man, how many of those do I have? Gah. And silicone. Let's get into more lubricant just in case I need, you know, two or three of them or whatever. And there you go, three of them. Because I have a lot of uh, silicone. So, boom, I guess that's it. Deployables. That's another waterproof locker. Mobile vehicle bay. And sea glide. Oh! Whoa! Oh, wait, what in the world? Power cell? Solar power cell? I guess these things are charging. Main power online. I guess they're powering and charging during the, uh, the daytime hours. So that's interesting stuff. But anyways, oh, look at that. That's where our flippers are, our fins. Our standard O2 tank that gives us 30 seconds of oxygen, which is on top of the 45 seconds we had beforehand. Compressed, breathable air. Uh, I guess I can get some other... Uh, yeah, let's see what else we have here. Uh, floating air pump, that seems like it'd be pretty good if we want to... Oh, high capacity one, we need the standard O2, and uh, we need silver ore now. Man, da! How are we going to do that? I guess we'll have to go down there and find it, which should be a little bit easier now that our uh, oxygen is a little bit bigger, higher capacity. Able to go down there for a whole extra 30 seconds. Vehicle bay. I guess we don't have enough ingredients to unlock it, so we don't really need to worry about that for right now. Glass, titanium, foundation, etc., etc. I guess I could make the foundation, but I do need two lead, which we only have one of. Whoops. Solar panel. Uh, ooh. I guess I shouldn't have turned my quartz into whatever it's called, because now I need a solar panel, it looks like. Or it looks like I could use one. Hmm. So we have a copper ore right here. We have titanium. We have, I guess, I don't know, like it wasn't even the rarest thing in the universe down there. Trying to find a quartz. So I guess we could put some of this stuff up and we'll be good to go. Uh, what else do I have here? Fire extension. Yeah, let's put that up as well. Creature egg. Yep, let's hide that thing from all the creators downstairs. Now, why do I keep saying downstairs? In the water. Down in the water. Sheesh. Anyways, let's go. Come on, Vominos. Let's get our knife out. Because it is daytime, so I'm not going to need to worry about, you know, lighting things up. I'm going to need to light up the area with blood if I need to defend myself. I'm actually swimming. Yeah. Noticeably faster thanks to these uh, fins. Really nice. Now, can I actually uh, pick these guys up while I still have the knife in my hand, or am I going to have to slice and dice? Table coral. Yeah, I don't need that trash. Ah, kill it. Oh, I guess that's blood. Oh, I thought that was like acid, or it might be. It might be. I might be dying right now, you guys. Oh man, speaking of dying and health and stuff like that, my health is actually pretty high right now. I'm not bragging. It's just a fact. Is there anything? Oh. Let's get some oxygen. Yeah, we're getting kind of close to the Aurora Crest ship. If we want to stay away from that thing, at least for the time being. Let's go back down. Oh! A critter! A critter! It's a- Oh! Kill it! Oh, God! It looks like a Pokeball! It looks like a Pokeball! Oh, my God! Man! I guess that's what that thing was down here. Sheesh! Need to watch out for that. What about this critter? What? What? Kill it! Kill it! Slice and dice! What? What in the world is it? Is it dead? Pick it up! 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 Yeah, looks like a giant heckin' eyeball. I guess I can't do anything with it, huh? Alright, whatever. Alright, then. <laughs> Anyways, we're at 42 seconds right now. It is kinda dark down here. I'm actually swimming very fast thanks to these fins, so I can't complain at all. Hey, there's some of those mo- Oh! Another suicidal Pokeball! Another suicidal- Oh! No! My health! My health! Oh! What in the world? Why is my- Oh! Well, that's because I'm underneath the thing. Okay, whatever. <laughs> oh, man, I didn't even know where I was for a second. Sheesh. Need to watch out for that. Right, anyways, let's go back underwater, see if we can find some more quartz. It seems like it's actually decently deep down, so... Let's keep our eyes peeled for quartz. Here's something. Limestone rock with copper ore. Metal salvage for titanium. Slowly learning here, you guys. Acid mushrooms for batteries. And there's some critters here. What's that called again, Peeper, or something like that? Definitely want to use that guy for sustenance. Definitely going to give us a lot of energy with that high-calorie fella. Is there anything else around? Whoa, there's like floating rocks. And what are these floating rocks? What is that? 
I don't know what that is. I want to touch it. Floater! Take him. I don't know what they're... Okay. I guess I'm going to take him. Are these kind of like uh, upgraded version of the... Oh, whoa. Whoa! Maybe that's why the rock was floating. Thanks. Oh! Thank you. Thank you, Siri. Maybe that's why that rock was floating, because of the, you know, floaters. Anyways. Oh, still per- ah, I thought we were closer to ship than I thought. Because right there's our, uh, escape pod, so don't need to worry about that right now. But anyways, more crash wreckage right here. A lot of stuff down there. I don't know if I want to worry about that. Seems like we have a bunch of trash down here. I guess we can pick up some of the tra- Oh, is that, uh, quartz? What is that? Salts. Salt. What is this? Silver-based wiring kits are an essential component of many habitat modules. Beacon fragment. I guess I can't do anything with that beacon fragment. Rest in peace. What about this thing? Grav trap fragment. Beacon fragment. Can I do anything with these, like, boxes of what look like materials and resources? I guess I can't. What in the world is go- Oh! Something happening down there. Sheesh. Let's pick up some more random trash, you guys. Now, we did need silver- I, I don't remember what it was for. For the upgraded scuba tank or something like that? I don't remember. But at least we have it, because of course we do need it. Anyways, let's get some oxygen, and then let's go down to this little crevice right here. Seems like some fish just ate some other fish, so I might want to watch out for that big long fella right there, because there's a dead fish right there resting. Oh! What does that say? Cut creep vine with knife. Whoa! Why would I want to do that? Let's just do it. Wah! Creep vine sample. Set the size from alien resource. What? Now what is that? I have creep vine samples. Creep vine. Alright, well... Let's see what the thing is on our iPad, see what it says about it. Because we got a new blueprint for something. Let's see, what is it? Scroll up and down, boom, boom. Uh, fiber mesh. Oh, we can make fiber mesh now. That's what we needed for something. I don't know what it was. Man. Anyways, our inventory is almost full here, you guys. We need to watch out for that. But I still need to get some more quartz. We have more salt right here, which I'm not complaining about because we need to cure critters. Preferably that floater fella. He needs to have salt because he tastes like nothing without salt. <laughs> Anyways, speaking of salt, this is actually a pretty good place to get some salt. I'm not joking around right here. I'm not trying to be a comedian. Oh, more of that stuff, but we already have a pretty good amount already, so we don't need to worry about that. Now, I think we might need to go into like an underwater cave or cavern, kind of like we were earlier, if we want to get some uh, quartz. Because that's where we got a pretty good amount of quartz earlier. Oh! Is there like a radio transmit? What is that thing on the right? <gasps> I think we have a radio transmission or something. Or... Maybe I'm just now noticing that, and that's been there the whole time. I don't know. Let's go. It seems like someone's calling us. Let's go answer our phone before it goes to voicemail. Come on! Is it ringing? Oh! Receiving pre-recorded distress call playing back. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. <laughs> three out. All right, then. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Whoa, where did that location come from? Data bank? Advanced theories. Alien eggs. What in the world? I didn't even know about this. Sheesh. Alien eggs. Evidence suggests that a substantial number, if not all of the local species, reproduce through egg laying. Hmm. Well, we found one just, like, sitting there, so there's that. It is impossible to calculate the species of the egg from the exterior. However, it may be possible to stimulate a hatching response if an egg is relocated to a suitable alien containment unit. So I guess we're going to keep that egg we have and, you know, make an alien thing that we saw earlier on. Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Nice. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. Yeah, well, what else can I do? What does it say? Uh, category 3, Ocean Planet. So I guess it is a water world with Kevin Costner. Oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere. That's good, because, you know, we're humans. Extensive biodiversity. Safety warnings may support Leviathan-class predators. What? Water contaminated with high levels of foreign bacteria. Planet is beyond Federation space. Rescue unlikely. Okay, I guess the... Galactic Federation isn't going to rescue us, whoops, outside of their jurisdiction. It is not recommended to explore this environment without a hazardous material suit and extensive support apparatus. That's kind of what we got going on right now, but blueprints, uh, vehicles, mobile vehicle bay. Oh, what? Sea glide? Whoa, I guess that thing's going to be kind of like, uh, like a weird thing that's going to help us move around underwater. Man, there's a lot of stuff here we could read about, you guys. Man, advanced theories and all that kind of stuff. Uh, what is this voice log? Where is the old oh, beacon manager? 
Signal, Life Pod 3, crew reported, blah, 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 blah. I don't think there's like a map or anything, so I guess we're fine right now. Not like we're- Oh! Pathfinder tool. Deploys holographic Pathfinder discs used to map a way back out of caves or hard to navigate spaces. Max 20 discs per path. Okay, so I guess we can make one of those things. That's kind of interesting. But speaking of crafting stuff, let's go inside the Fabrica Tua and see what we can actually make with all these materials. So we have fiber mesh. I don't know what we need that for, but let's just make a couple of them just because why not? Nope. I guess that way is... Oh, I guess my game is the map because over there is, I guess, where that radio signal came from. Interesting stuff. Now, was that any Pathfinder tool? Uh, oh, the fiber mesh is for the first aid kit. Okay, okay, that's good. Definitely want to get some of those, you know, have a pretty good amount of first aid kits just kind of lying around, so... I don't know how many fiber mesh we have, so... Oh, I guess we don't have enough. It needs two creep vine things to make one fiber mesh, so... I guess, uh, it's a pretty decent fair trade-off. Make a few first aid kits, should be able to make one more after this, I think. Ah, that can't do it. Oh, the power's pretty low right there. Should probably worry about that. Yeah, the, the solar panel. Where's the solar panel on this thing? Tools, scanner. Uh, I don't know where the solar panel is. I need, uh, equipment. Oh, it might be here. Ah, I'm not seeing it. There's a high capacity thing. Oh, it was, it was silver that we need for the high capacity O2 tank. So how about we take off our standard O2 tank, get a little bit of glass, get a little bit of titanium in our inventory, and let's upgrade our thing. So what was it? Uh, a couple titanium, one, two, three, four, and that's salt. Where's the glass? Is that that's silicone rubber? Where in the world is the glass at? Oh, I guess, yeah, we turned the, uh, the whatever it's called into quartz. We turned that into glass, and then, of course, made, like, the flashlight and all that stuff. Oh, wait, no, we have one right there. Oh, we have a couple of them. I think we can make it right now, right? Let's go back to the Fabrica Tua. Water pro oh, oh, man, why'd I click that? Why did I click that? At least we have a little bit more storage, right? Jeez. Oh, my God. Did I miss out on something? No, I guess, okay, so we just need a little bit more titanium, and, of course, I guess take the tank off of our back. One, two, three, four... And let's take the titanium off of our, uh, I guess I have to do it here. And I guess, boom, how do I take it off? Uh, I guess I keep it in my inventory, maybe? I don't know. Or can I not use the one that's already in my inventory? How do I take that off? Hold on. It told me earlier how to take it off. I guess I don't have enough inventory space, so how about we put some of those things up? How about, how about I use one? Just get me full, there you go, full health, nice. Let's get some of those, put up some of these fish fellas. Uh, composed of multiple organisms in symbiosis, life cycle unknown. Okay, whatever, let's put those things up, those weird critters. Let's put those up. There you go. Now, can I take the thing off now? There we go. Unequipped now. All right. Yep, it takes up a lot of uh, spaces, so that's why I couldn't do anything. And let's upgrade it to a high-capacity O2 tank. How much is this going to give us, though? Whoa, it's, like, it's got like two, I guess, 60 more than compared to 30? Or what does that say? Does it say anything? O2, oh, it doesn't say. Our thing, oh man, our thing up, went up to 135. What does it just say? Oh, what does that say? 90 seconds of oxygen. Really nice. So it went from... 45 up to 75 and now it's 135 whoa anyways let's grab some of this what in the world life pod blah 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 743 meters away so i guess we can go over there and you know hopefully see if we can find some living people hopefully they're not you know dead because they're uh, trying to repair the walls of their escape pod or something like that but speaking of dead let's make sure we don't die and keep our oxygen and everything nice and full let's try and cure the hoverfish because we have a lot of these salt might as well make you know a few of those get ourselves some hover oh whoa oh yeah, I forgot what the hoverfish looked like. I was wondering. <laughs> it was giving us like six different things right there. Cooked peeper. Very nice. That's my favorite meal. All right, let's get one of those bad boys in our stomach. Uh, what's that say? Negative two for H2O and plus 23 for food. Let's eat one of those bad boys. Boom. Now, what about the floater? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I want to eat it or not. Where's the floater at on this? Oh, rebreather. Conserves oxygen when diving deeper. Absorbs. So I need a wiring kit and a fiber mesh. Now, how do I get a wiring kit? I guess it's going to be electronics and... There it is right there. There's two silver ore. Of course, we used our one silver ore to upgrade our uh, oxygen tank, so we cannot make that just yet. We need to find two more silver ore, and we'll be good to go. Now, what about that little floater fella? I guess I can't do anything with him. Uh, speaking of floater, I guess I could use the other floating lo- Oh, it's nighttime. I guess we'd use the other floating locker to put some of those floater fellas inside of. So, anyways, uh, let's drop it like right here. Drop it like it's hot. Boom. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is right there. It's like floating on the side of our thing. Can I pick it up? Oh, pack. What does that say? Pack up? Pack up waterproof locker? Yeah, there you go. Put that in my inventory, and now I can drop it. Drop it right here. There you go. Now, I get... Yeah. Oh, and there it is. There's the other one. Uh, uh, You know what? I might, I might just put literal trash in here. Oh, come on. Edit the name. Edit the name. Trash. Ugh. Anyways, there you go. <laughs> Don't pack it up. Open the storage, and let's put some of those floaters inside of there. Boom. 
Guess we're good. All right, uh, de oh my god, decomposing cooked peeper. That is not good. Let's drop some of those. I guess they rotted, they spoiled away. Definitely do not want to carry those pieces of garbage. Let's just get rid of them. Rotten, cooked bladderfish, rotten, rotten. Okay, okay, we're, we're, let's just drop them. Our food is decent right now. But we're going to need more of those bladderfish, though, you guys. We're going to need, oh, speed of the, no, that's the, uh, that's the dead one. Yeah, oh, wait. Yeah, that's the dead one. Yeah, rest in peace. So, oh, wait, yeah, those are the other cooked ones, too, yeah. All right, well, we're going to need to get some more bladder fish, fellas. Try and get some uh, purified ox, or purified ox, what in the world am I saying? Purified water, filtered water, or whatever it's called. Try, oh, that's not, oh, there's one, there's one. Man, this oxygen lasts for a while. Seek fluid intake. Yeah, I'm working on that, Siri, I'm working on it. Give me a second, sheesh, trying to work on, you know, not dying. Uh, I'm not seeing any more of them right off the bat, so we might want to go back real quick and see if we can turn this into uh, filtered water real quick and maybe see if I could get a little bit more here in a moment. But for right now, let's just go turn this one little guy. I love how I'm like choking him there. <laughs> oh, so savage. I don't even need to be holding him like that. He's a heckin' fish. He's not going anywhere. Sheesh. Assonance and filtered water. Warning. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Oh, we should probably just stay away from it then. Sheesh. Maybe. Vital signs stabilizing. Uh, so I guess we should probably go back to the th there and. Ah, uh, man, I don't know. Ah, man. At least my water's, you know, decently high up right now compared to what it was just moments ago. So at least I'm not, you know, dead right now. But I'm probably going to be dead in like two hours or whatever that is when that thing can explode. I said mushroom, don't eat that garbage, man. Yeah, we dropped those off a little while ago. Oh! Okay, let's stay away from that. Sheesh. What are these little fellas? Gary fish. Oh, yeah, the Gary fish. Forgot about that. Oh! Two of them right here. Oh, my God. Grab them. Grab the bladder fish. My favorite. Oh, my God. Another one right there. Grab them. Yes! What in the world? Blah, 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 blah. I know. Oh, my God. There's like 15 of them over here. Holy heck. Oh! Don't come near me. Ew. He's like laughing at me, those weird critters. Let's get this one. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, there you go. Got him. All right, let's get our knife out. Can I can I pick up a bladderfish while I still have my knife out, though? Pick up bladderfish. Yes, yes, I can. Perfect. Man, look at all these bladderfish around here, you guys. There you go. Perfect. And let's grab a... Oh, hold on. We have a lot of oxygen. Oh, another egg. Oh! Oh! Oh, no. Dangerous Pokeball. Oh, no, man. No. At least we're decently far away from him right there. Pick up the uh, bladderfish, Gary fish, whatever it was. I don't know. There we go. Got him. There's a second one in here too, you guys. I guess, okay, I guess both of them are gone. I guess it's going to be a creature egg for that fella. Let's grab a limestone outcrop. Pick up the limestone or copper or whatever that was. All right, nothing else. Man, not seeing any more of that glass or quartz or whatever. Ah, what are you going to do? Anyways, our oxygen is still... It's at, it's at what it was before we had our uh, oxygen tanks right now. It was at 42 or something right there. Of course, 45 is what we started out with. Man, this lasts a while. Really like that. And once we upgrade a little bit here in a bit, we get the little snorkel mask or whatever that is. That's definitely going to help out tremendously as well. All right, well, let's go back up here. Oh, uh, what in the world? Is this escape pod number five? Yes, it is. Number five. So, yeah, number three is over there. So we should probably go over there, you know, sometime soon. And uh, we should be able to go with it a lot faster now that we have our flippers and stuff, but I don't think I'm ready right now. Speaking of all that stuff, I, I don't know what's going to happen to my stuff. Is everything over here going to be annihilated and I have to start again or what? Anyways, uh, what was I doing here? Oh, yeah. Let's make some water bottles. Boom. Trying to get some filtered water. I don't know why I can't tell. Hey, I want to get like 15 of them. I have to do it one at a time. But it's not the most tedious thing in the universe, so can't complain too much. Uh, do we have any cooked cooked blood? For I don't want to do that, though. Uh, reminiscent of jerky, dehydrating, but keeps well. Yeah, I don't want to do that with the ladderfish. I think they're best for water, so let's just turn them in the water. Let's go get some of those peepers if we want to get some food, because I'm like, our food is kind of going down a little bit right now, so might as well. And is that it? Yep, that's all of them. All right, well, let's keep a few here, just so... Man, I wish I saw this container earlier on, but uh, I'm like, we do have a nutrient bar here for 75 hunger. Whoa! Definitely don't want to eat one right now, though, because uh, flares and stuff. Because our stuff is already decent right now. So anyways, let's get some water. Consume. 
consume was this 20 plus 20 yes okay it's consume and our water's at 87 right now so that's not that bad keep uh, let's keep a few of them in here i guess we're not going to rot or spoil or anything like that because of course it is just water right <laughs> anyways let's go back underwater see if we can find some peepers as well as some more quartz and maybe even some silver and stuff i don't know where we were just moments ago when we first saw that first piece of silver maybe like over here because of course seems like stuff seems to hang out in the same area of itself like the, over there or somewhere or over here with the creep vines that's where a bunch of salt was just moments ago and we have a lot of these peepers here let's grab them of course they're going to be really tasty dinner for us so hopefully we can actually keep up with them especially with our brand new flippers come on get over here little guy oh there we go got them oh yeah there's that dangerous thing definitely want to stay away from that so we know i can do oh what is this limestone with titanium nice now what is that more salt yeah more salt more um, scrap metal, metal salvage, whatever. Uh, nothing else here as far as I can see. It's getting really murky down here. Can't really see too well. Feels a bit- oh, what in the world is that? Gotta wake that up. Vehicle bay front- what in the world? Oh, there's my knife back out. Now, I haven't really had to use my knife for defense just yet, so... Thankfully, it's, it's hopefully gonna be still nice and sharp, but, uh... I'm not seeing it- yeah, that's salt right there. Blubber fish. Don't eat that. Let's pick up the peepers. Just so we can cook them for dinner. I think we have like two or three of them right now, so... Let's try and... There we go. I think we'll be nice and full hunger once we cook these two little fellas. But let's keep a little bit... I'm like, it does spoil, so... Probably don't want to cook like a bunch of them and keep them, but... Oh, what is that thing? New creature discovered. Poop fish. Whoa! I wonder what that thing's all about. Like, what is it good at? I guess we'll find out once we get back to the base and read about it. But for right now... Whoa! Oxygen's getting kind of low. Let's get a little bit of a re-up on our oxygen and i guess we can go a little bit deeper but that seems really dangerous down there you guys i don't think i want to go down oh there you go i don't think i want to go down there right now you guys 150 me man if that's only 150 meters that we just went right there 700 or whatever that was over there that's not going to take very long i guess we can go there pretty soon might need to whenever the you know the ship explodes or whatever <laughs> anyways speaking of explosions let's definitely try and avoid the explosion over there i guess it's going to be dangerous and, uh, oh, is it, yeah, that's the Gary fish. Yeah, I, I don't think the thing said anything about these little... New creature discovered. What in the world? I thought I already had one. Well, what about these guys? Can I kill these guys? I'll kill them. I'll slit your head off. Sheesh. Uh, ah! Man, it... Ah, it's not dead. Ah, what are you gonna do? I can pick up the hoverfish. Don't want to do that right now, though. There's a... Oh, pick up the... There we go. Got the peeper. Nice. All right, well, let's go back to the base for right now, at least. Definitely... Oh! Definitely want to plan out and figure out where in the world the quartz is... I think we want to get quartz to make the solar panel. Because I don't think our thing has enough power right now or something. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe can I give this thing like thrusters and move this away from the... I don't know. Kind of want to do a little bit of research here, guys. Don't want to build my base. It seems like I can actually build a base right now. But I do not want to build it right next to the heckin' crashed whatever. So anyways, right now, do not want to pick up the first... Can I... Can I can't close it. Why can't I close it? I don't know why. Anyways, let's get ourselves some cooked peeper. Oh, cooked gray fish. Floral flavor, but very... I guess I can cook one of them and see what it does. Hoop fish. What? Oh my god, he's bigger than I thought. It is common for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. You can too. Floral favor, flavor. Uh, never eat the antennae. Okay. So... Is this going I assume this machine's just gonna remove the antenna anyway, so don't think I need to worry about that, right? Anyways, get some of these classic peeper fish nice and cooked. Eat a few of them. Maybe get another bottle of water here in a second. And I think we're gonna to be topped off pretty well on our health, our food, everything right here, you guys. We're doing pretty well right now. And metal salvage, definitely wanna get rid of some of those here in a bit, but let's consume that. Oh, even H2O goes up with that. That's good. Uh yeah, it's kind of like the peeper, but not quite as good, so I guess we can eat a Gary fish. And I guess our water's fine, don't need to waste anything else right there. So, anyways, let's put up the egg, and any other things we might not need right now. Uh, let's turn the metal salvage into whatever. Oh man, it seems like I can eat the rotten- oh man. Free fine samples, okay, so yeah, let's, let's drop some of that- I don't think I can drop it right now, can I? Yeah, I can't. I can only consume it. So I guess I have to go outside, drop off the rotten creep vine cluster. Yeah, I guess whenever I get some of these, I guess, biological materials like this, definitely want to turn them into food or eat them and all that kind of stuff. Definitely want to do that before it all spoils, you know? Anyways, the metal salvage isn't going to spoil because, of course, it's metal. So let's just turn that into titanium. I guess we'll be good to go. Boom! I think we have like three or four of them. So it's going to take a little while to get all these converted back into their titanium form. 
But let's figure out what we need next. So there's titanium ingots. Of course, we can make some of those. Copper wire. I can make some of those with copper ore. Noish. But let's go back over here to the blueprints. Yes. What do I need? Is there like some sort of uh, equipment? Thermometer, pipe, floating air pump, uh, rebreather. Yeah, I need that for the wiring kit. I think I needed uh, two silver or something like that. So I don't think I need that right now. This fish actually tastes like fish dehydrating, but keeps well. Oh, yeah. That's the uh, cured stuff. Yeah, I don't want to read about that, but... Is there anything I can do for the ship itself, though? Because I'm not seeing it right now. Tools, habitat builder, ooh. Fabricates habitat compartments and appliances from raw materials. Ooh, so I need a computer chip for that, though. See light ingredients unknown, man. Solar panel, that seems to be the main thing. Base attached air pump. Pumps oxygen from a powered habitat to a an attached, oh, that's kind of interesting. Anyways, yeah, we need to, yeah, we still need that quartz that I talked about earlier. Connects to four, don't need that. Animal containment, interior modules, locker, large freestanding thing, aquarium, nah. We need uh, two glass right there, don't need that garbage. Yeah, definitely need to get that quartz. I need to go underwater right here, you guys. I'm like going underwater is like the only thing we can do anyway, so <laughs> what am I saying? I don't know. I know, let's get our knife out. Boom. We still have one little guy in our inventory. Look at this little guy, I'm just hanging out. But uh, I think like right there is where we found a bunch of quartz, so let's go back over here. There are these big looking critters that those two things. So I definitely want to steer clear of those things. Okay, so here's some more of that rubble we saw. Don't think we need to get anything from there. Let's try and find some quartz. Maybe from these little inlets. Here we go. Do you want to? Yeah, let's give you some oxygen real quick. I'm like only like 10 meters away from the surface. And there we go. 100. This is like two minutes, a little bit over two minutes of uh, oxygen, which is. Oh! Oh no! Oh man! Ah, a little bit of my health went away right there. Ah, need to watch out for that. Anything else down here though? Cover ore. Nice. That's what I need. Pick it up. There you go. Anything else down here? Ooh. Yeah, there's. There's a lot of stuff going down here. Oh! Yeah, the exploding guys give us... Oh! What in the... Stalker, kill it! Kill it! Oh my god! Is it dead? How do I... It seems like it's gonna attack me. It killed a fish earlier on. I don't know what this guy's health is or anything like that, you guys. I assume I'm killing it right here. It's still wiggling, though, so... I don't know if I want to waste my time. Let's keep going. Oh, oh. Yeah, we were... Yeah, we were under here just moments ago. This is where we got the quartz. So therefore, it might be empty. It might be completely devoid of quartz. Might not be the best idea to... But then again, we didn't go this way, did we? This is where we need to get the flashlight. Ooh, very interesting. Let's get some of this stuff. Be advised, a common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. Yeah, let's watch out. Don't want to get too deep into this cave. But we're getting... Oh my god, silver. Oh, hold on. I guess it's not even that big anyways. I thought it was... A... Oh my god, that was a... I forgot what it was called. Duh. Lead. I think that was lead just moments ago. Anyways, let's try and get some oxygen. I know we have all, about a minute left, but I'm like we're right next to the surface anyway, so there it goes. Let's go back under that cave. See if we can actually find any more quartz. We got a lot of really good materials there, you guys. And what's that? Titanium? Nice. I don't know if these are like basically like loot crates or if like uh, like certain like stones and stuff have certain resources inside of them. I don't know. It might be like a roll of the dice each time I hit them. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Anyways, we got another one right here. Limestone, copper ore. Yeah, didn't we just break a limestone thing just moments ago? And it gave us titanium. Yep, that one uh, gave us titanium and then copper and then titanium. So I guess it's a, kind of a roll of the dice situation with that. And this, yep. Limestone again. Copper ore. Nice. Anything else down here? Thankfully, I have the flashlight, guys. So I can actually see a little bit better under here. But can I recharge this thing, though? I don't know. Ooh, speaking of the, uh, the sulfur stuff. Turn off our flashlight. There was sulfur. Where was it? There were two exploding Pokeballs. Kind of nearby. I think, oh, yeah, I think, like, down there. Yep, that's where they were. Uh, yeah, we've got enough time. Let's just go down there. Don't need to go to the surface right now. Let's try and go grab their sulfur. I don't know if they're going to be respawned inside of here. Oh. I guess we're fine. Let's grab the sulfur. Uh, God, I'm hitting the wrong buttons all the time. Come on. I need to rebind these things. Power's at 79%. We need to... Oh! Oh! Another one! Another one! Another... Oh! Nice! Good distance from them. Didn't die. Quantum detonation has occurred. Oh, no! Emergency. A quantum detonation has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. 
The reactor will reach a supercritical state. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7. Oh no, am I dead? Five. Four, oh god. Three, I'm dead, aren't I? Two. Oh no! Oh my god, am I Am I too close? Man! Man! Holy! Radiation suit! For your convenience and radiation suit. Oh, so I guess I have to make a radiation suit, you guys. The radiation suit has been added to your blueprint database. That's good. I heard like a guy could kind of go in like tick, tick, tick. But I don't know if that radiation has hit my area yet. So, either way, we might want to make that radiation suit here in a moment, you guys. That thing just second exploded. But I guess we're fine, we're still alive. That's good. Anyways, let's turn our light off. Don't want to waste that energy. It's only up to 70%, or down to 78% now. Or 70%. Let's try and go inside. See if we're actually able to put our flashlight, like, up here or something like that. Can we do that? How do I... Can I power this? I don't know, maybe I have to craft another one if this thing breaks, or get another battery, or something like that. I don't know, it's at 69% though. We need to watch out for that. So what does that say? Secondary systems online, yes. Outgoing radio communication offline. Incoming radio communication online though, that's good. It's because we got a message just moments ago. Hull integrity is okay! And uncharted ocean planet 4546B. Oxygen, nitrogen, atmosphere, and waterborne bacteria levels high. Yeah, we read about that earlier on. Anyways, I definitely want to rearrange this thing, put the survival knife on, keep the survival knife on two. Let's put the flashlight on one. I don't know why it moved, but what are you going to do? Let's cook up this peeper before it, like, uh, rots. So, boom, cooked peeper. I guess we could eat this one. There we go. And what else do I have? Oh, I have another cooked bow. Oh, I guess I had two in my inventory. I didn't even know it. Huh. All right, let's get a little bit of water here in a moment. Thankfully, I'm not drinking the salt water, getting more dehydrated. Uh, let's see. Cooked old cooked pe probably don't want to eat those. Yeah. See these fresh ones. And old cooked hoop fish. Don't want to eat those. Yeah. Filtered water, that's still good. So let's get that. That's nice. Alright, so we got a lot of resources there, you guys. Very, very impressed. Anyways, titanium ingot, don't need that garbage. Personal equipment. Radiation suit. Ooh! <gasps> we could do this. Two fiber mesh. We just need to go get more of those uh creep vines. And we'll be good to go, I think. Yeah, creep vines makes the fiber mesh, which we used for the first aid earlier. But now we're going to be using it for a radiation suit. Lead line suit, providing insulation from radiation. Of course, we do need lead. Do we have lead inside here already? Yes, we do. And of course, we got lead earlier, so I think we're fine. You guys, let's go out with our knife. Cut a few creep vines. Actually, you know, yeah, we don't have enough inventory space, I don't think. Let's try and drop off all this extra titanium. I don't know if turning it into titanium ingots is a good thing or a bad thing. You know, it saves space, but there you go, that's full now, so. Ah, uh, man. Uh, you know what, I kind of want to keep, like, food and water and stuff. Kind of want to keep that maybe in the other thing. And same thing with uh, first aid and uh, nutrient blocks. Creature eggs, I guess I'll keep those out there. Fire extinguisher, probably want to keep that in here, to be quite honest. Let's put up the cave sulfur, titanium, etc., etc. Salt deposit, yeah, we can keep those. Uh, copper, I guess we can keep those for right now, but for right now, let's go into one of these storage bins. I don't know which one this is. Stuff fam, nice! Open the storage. Uh, nothing inside here. Okay, well, I guess we can put uh, copper ore in there for right now. Yeah, it's storage, might as well use it. Oh my god, that's not even giving us that much. Oh yeah. Okay, so I guess, yeah, let's use this for the food then. The filtered water and the medical supplies, the nutrient blocks, all that stuff. So I guess let's just do that. And let, while we're out here, let's drop the spoiler. Old cooked peer. It's, it's going to spoil here in a bit. My food's already fine, so I don't need to carry this trash. And I think we have enough inventory spaces right now, you guys. Let's get our uh, light out. Just so we can at least see a little bit better and know where we need to go. I think the way of the Aurora, of course, the exploded heckin' ship. Man, that thing is crazy huge. We need to go this way, I think. This is where the creep vines were, I think. So let's go this way and cut. Ah, I don't know how many we need. Uh, let's just get as much as we can. Oh, here we go. Here they are. Let's get as many as we can just because... I don't know how many we need, and they take up a pretty good amount of inventory space, too, so... Try and get as much as we can, and once it runs out of inventory space, let's go back. There we go, inventory full times three. Inventory full times four. <laughs> uh, really? I guess the extra ones don't go into my inventory, right? Yep, the extra ones just stay out there, so I guess... Maybe I can go back and pick them up if they're still there? I don't know. Anyways, let's go back to the thing. Make the... What was it called? The mesh? The fine mesh or whatever that was called? Oh, it's daytime now. Nice! 
Man, the days on this planet don't last very long. I'm not complaining, though. What in the world is that? Is that that spoiled creep vine stuff from earlier? Just floating in the wind? Did, <laughs> let's go back inside the escape pod. And let's try and make the radiation suit. We should be able to make it now, right? We have the lead. We have the two lead. We just need to make the two fiber mesh. And it needs two creep samples or whatever that was. Creep fiber? Creep vine. Creep, creep vine samples. <laughs> and I think we're good. Let's go back to personal equipment and radiation suit. All right. Let's get that thing. Boom. Man, that took a little while. This is taking... Man, it, it's taking so long, it even has a little countdown thing right there. Oh, is everything here? So we have gloves, lead-based radiation gloves. That's good. Radiation suit, nice. And radiation helmet, lead line, radiation helmet. So I guess, is there an upgraded version of the uh, radiation helmet that has the, what is it called? What's it called? Man, it was the re-oxygen re-something. Yeah, well, we just got that one, so I don't know why it's telling me, hey, that's brand new, hater. There it is right there, rebreather, fiber mesh, and wiring. I, maybe we'll be able to wear this over the uh, radiation thing that we already have. I doubt it. That looks like a straight-up thing. So, anyways, let's try and turn these creep vine things into those, just because they're going to spoil if I don't do it anyway. So, there we go. And what can we do? We can make copper wires with that. I don't know if I want to do that right now. It's two silver ore to get that wiring kit. We only have one right now. Table coral sample. What in the world? Power cell, silicon rubber, battery, as mushroom. Yeah, still need to make the uh, the solar panel, which requires the quartz. And I, God, I haven't found them yet. What in the world? There's stuff over there. There's stuff over there. That's not the uh, the people, I don't think, right? That looks like stuff floating in the water, like relatively close. Hold on, let's get... Let's get as close as we can to that stuff. That's not... That's not it, is it? Yeah, it's like right here. What is this? There's like a miniature island right here with stuff sticking out of the water. Huh. I wonder if there's anything good here. Anything? Oh, this is a giant coral thing. Ah, I thought it was like a part of the wrecked ship. Let's grab some of these trappers. Grab this guy, turn him into a water bottle. Duh. There you go, blubberfish. I think we're fine. Alright, let's grab another trapper. Nah, I'm not, nah, whatever. Anyways, I want to get our knife out, just in case any critters try and act funny. <laughs> Anyways, we do have some stuff over here, so let's grab some limestone outcrop. Oh, there you go. I guess I was attacking it with my knife for no reason. <laughs> Anyways, we have more. Oh, I guess I can't interact with that nasty-looking trash. Veined nettle. Is this how I get it? I have to cut it? I think so. Ooh, did I pick it up? Ah, uh, I did. Ooh. Veined nettle seed. Coral shell plate. Now, what is this for? Uh, I guess not. I, I guess I can't do anything with that. Okay, whatever. Anyways, we have a little uh, fella right there. Don't want to harm him. He's just a friendly little fella. Anyways, we do need to find some quartz. So, let's grab some oxygen. Boom. Might want to drop those metal things. <laughs> just to try and get a little bit more inventory space. But, man, I need... What was it? Two quartz or something like that? So, I guess I can... Yeah, let's, we have a lot of these, like, limestone outcrop things. Let's well pick them up. See if we can find some more quartz and while we're out here just kind of exploring. Decently far away from our escape pod. Oh! Is that? No, that's salt. Ah, man. Anyways, ooh. Time for our flashlight. We have another, uh, thing right here. Definitely want to watch out for exploding little critters. Let's grab these things. Silver ore! Whoa! We can make the, uh, the, whatever it's called again. The wiring kit or whatever that was called. Lead! Yes! That's good. Oh! No, there's one right there. Okay, this might be easier this time. We might be able to- Oh, no, man! Ah, I thought we'd be able to outrun him because we, you know, just kind of weave through the corners and stuff like that, but I guess he's a fish fellow. He's a little bit more agile underwater than me. Man. Anyways, pick up that copper ore. Nice! And now we can actually get the sulfur stuff from that. Uh, come on. There we go. Got some of the cave sulfur. Copper ore right there. Decent stuff. Uh... I've, I've, I've pretty much forgotten what quartz looked like under here. I know it looks like crystals from Ark. So, shouldn't be too hard. I don't, I don't think I could find quartz in these limestone things, right? Like, it's just giving me titanium, copper. Sometimes it'll give me lead. Don't think it's giving me... Oh, what that say? Oh, that's a... Oh. I'm hearing a... F oh! Oh, no. I will defend myself. Oh! Kill it! Yeah, get away. Yeah, yeah. Sheesh. I guess attacking him a few times, told him, hey, I'm not going to mess with that hater, sheesh. Guess we're good, alright. More salt. Man, I don't know how my inventory is doing, but we're going to need to get our oxygen up. I can see that very well. That's not doing too well. So let's get that replenished. Noish. 
And back underwater we go. 